Assalamu alaikum, sister. Thank you for writing to our live session. As I understand, your mom and dad have been separated, and in the past, they have not had a great relationship. As you stated, your dad's family would always hate on your mom and look down on her and wait for her failures. And it appears that your father never really stuck up for her. And due to that, your mom has developed um, a situation where she's very self-conscious and strict. With that said, you're 23 and your mom is trying to get you to get married. And you stated she's not really forcing you into marriage, but whenever you say no or you're not ready, she'll say, oh, you're getting old or why are you rejecting them like you're so pretty and so forth. Um, sister, I just want to say that, you know, you, you don't have to get married, right? You have a choice of when you want to get married, who you want to get married to, and it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you need your mom or dad's permission as long as the person is Islamically acceptable. I mean, it would be, it would be nice to have your mom's blessing, right, to marry somebody whom you choose. Um, however, it is not a requirement. As a Muslima, it is it is your it is your right, it is your, you know, duty to find somebody who is compatible or have your family find somebody or however it goes. But the point is it is your right to have somebody compatible as a husband. You are the one that has to live with this person, have children with this person if you choose, and make a life with this person, right, moving forward. Your mom's not going to be marrying a future spouse of yours. Your family's not going to. It will be you. And with that said, you know, Allah in his infinite wisdom um, made it very clear that a girl or a woman is to choose and be able to say yes or no regarding marriage and to whom she will be married to as long as they are Islamically acceptable, of course. So with that said, um, you're already married. <laughs> um, you stated that after going back and forth with your mom and telling her no about various potential marriage partners, you just kind of gave in and you married this guy, um, who lives out of the country. He lives abroad. You've never met him, but you spoke to him virtually and you did say yes. And the reason you gave is is very sweet and it's very thoughtful for your mom because I know that from reading above what you stated you know you probably feel bad about the way your mom's been treated by your father's family and your father right and we all love our mothers we want to make them happy um, but marrying somebody that we don't want to marry just to make our mothers happy doesn't equate happiness for our mothers in the long term nor us and the statement that you said was you said, quote, yes, I, I said yes because my mom felt very positive about them and she seemed the happiest she has ever been. So that is really like, you know, a heart pull, right? Because you see your mom so happy and you want her to be happy after going through so much pain. However, moving forward, this is your life. And if it doesn't work out, you're the one who's going to be hurt. And probably your mom as well, right? It'll make her sad to see you sad. Should the marriage not work out or should your husband mistreat you in any way? And from what it looks like, um, from what you've written, you really don't know much about his family. I'm not sure if your mom knows the family. Um, however, it's been seven months um, since the nikah and you know you still don't like him. You said that you tried your best to, uh, you did meet him but you don't feel attraction. He's nice, but you just don't like him. And sister, that's okay, right? I mean, people can be nice, um, they can be cordial, but if we don't feel that vibe, if we don't feel that attraction, if we don't feel that, that pull, that, like this person is for us, then it may not work, right? Um, I could say, you know, give it a chance, um, live with him or have him live with you. Um, try your best to make it work. 
um, but I'm not really sure how able that is given the situation that he lives in another country. Um, you may want to try that, you know, just for the sake of a law to see if a law puts the love between the two of you. Um, a law hates divorce, but there are certain circumstances where we can, you know, get divorced, and that, and that is critical in this case because if you absolutely do not feel anything for him, you're not compatible, you don't like him, it's best to get divorced, inshallah, rather than live a life of discontent, unhappiness, and possible resentment, right? That's not fair to him, and it's not fair for you. So, inshallah, I would kindly advise that you do speak with an imam um, that could provide you some guidance on this as well. Um, but I kindly suggest that, you know, you make dua to Allah, make ishkatara prayer, and just, you know, find out where you, which way you feel you should go. But, you know, now, you know, it's early in the marriage, and you're not living together, and you've already, you know, found out or you feel that, you know, you really just do not like him, it's not a good match, it's not going to work. It may be best to start talking and seeking um, divorce now before things go further and, you know, family gets more involved and time goes by um, and perhaps even children are conceived, right? Um, but please just, you know, be really sure about what you're doing and inshallah be really confident that you gave this marriage a good, a good try and a good chance for success. And after that, you know, if, if it still feels foreign to you, if it still feels like it's not going to work, if you still don't like him, there's no, there's no harm. There's, I mean, there's, there's going to be harm because people are going to be hurt, <laughs> obviously, but it's not going to be as much harm now as later on down the line is my point, right? If you identify something now that's a problem, it's best to fix it before it gets bigger and bigger, correct? So please do speak with an imam, talk with your mom. She's not going to like it probably, but be honest with her at least. And um, just seek um, in prayer, you know, wis wisdom and mercy from Allah and guidance. But now is the time if you're going to do it and to make the break is now. But sister, moving forward, you know, please know that um, your mom has been hurt as well. I know that you want to make her happy, but by marrying somebody just to make her happy that you don't like is in the long run not going to work out, you know, for you or for her. It's going to make her sad when you're sad, right? And Possibly, you know, you, her, and you know, your dad will get back together. I have no idea what the situation is, but at any rate, you know, this is your life, this is your decision, and this is your choice. And you deserve to be married to somebody who likes you. And the person who is married to you deserves to be married to somebody who likes them, right? It's not fair for the guy that you're married to, to your husband, to be married to a wife who doesn't even like him, right? So that's, that's, that's not a good thing. So looking at the situation from all angles, if you're fully confident that it will not work and you have prayed and you feel that Allah is not going to put love between you, then yes, inshallah, the best thing is to end the marriage now before it goes any longer or any deeper. We wish you the best.